Welcome to AeroV Reports version 3.41, now with full Stratix support. Stratix is a home-built, low-cost ADS-B receiver you can put together in just a few minutes. It's fully featured including dual 978 and 1090 traffic, weather, and WAS-capable GPS. You may also purchase all of the components together in an elegant kit ready to plug in and fly from Open Flight Solutions, called the Flight Box. Learn more at the URLs provided below. To get started with Stratix, just connect your iPad or iPhone to the Stratix Wi-Fi network and open AeroV Reports. Once the device is connected, you will see a new icon appear on the map page. This indicates AeroV is receiving information from your Stratix device. If you tap on this icon, you will see more information about your ADS-B receiver. If it successfully detected a Stratix device, you will see the type and version displayed here. As of this release, battery information will not yet be available, so it's okay if this is blank. You may select the receiver or Stratix GPS device, if available, or use the internal GPS from your iOS device. Once your device is connected at least once to a Stratix device, the app will periodically check for updated software versions from the Stratix project. For those without cell data capability, the app will check for and allow you to download software versions even if not connected to the Stratix. Let's see what this looks like. We've disconnected from the Stratix network and restarted our app. Notice the ADSB icon no longer exists as we are not receiving information from the Stratix. However, the app has found an update available from the Stratix servers and prompting you to download the update. Once you tap download, you will get a notification the Stratix update was successfully downloaded. Let's reconnect the Stratix device. Notice it now prompts you to install the latest version downloaded. If we tap cancel, we can still install later by tapping the install button. Let's try that. Now tap install from the ADSB status screen. Once installed, we should receive a successful install message from the Stratix device. Notice it may take a couple of minutes for the Stratix device to reboot, and in that time we may need to reconnect to the Stratix Wi-Fi network. Once reconnected, we now see that the version is up to date and the update or install button has disappeared. Now for the exciting part, using your ADSB receiver. When your device is connected, you will access ADSB information via the Overlays menu. At the very bottom of this menu, you will see an ADSB option. Tap on this to access ADSB data. Let's tap Traffic. Traffic is displayed on the map with a 1 minute trend vector. Just tap on the target to get more information. To access other data, you will need to be in flight or nearby a ADSB transmission tower. We hope you've enjoyed a quick look at version 3.41, available now in the App Store. Mm -hmm.